Adding images. Here are three ways to add images to your Moodle course. They all need to have the editing turned on. If at the top of your course page you then see a message saying that you could drag and drop files, you can use our first two methods. If you don't see that, you can use the third method. When you're adding images, it's important to make sure that you have permission to add them, that they're Creative Commons or Public Domain or you've made them yourself. And it's useful also to get the right size for the Moodle course before you upload them. I have an image here which I'm going to drag into the speaking section. When I drag it in, I get a message asking what I want to do with the file. I want to add the image to the course page and when I click Upload, it displays in a label. The second way, I'm going to go into a topic summary. So I click Edit and then Edit Topic in the Reading section and this takes me to Moodle's Atto Editor. Note that we need to use the Atto Editor to drag and drop our image. I simply put my cursor on the image, click to hold it and then drag it into the Reading Topic section summary. When it's saved, again, we see the graphic in the Reading section. If you're not able to drag and drop to upload, let's look at the third method. I want to add a graphic in the Listening section of my course. Again, I'm going to add it to the Topic Summary, so I click Edit and then Edit Topic. And then, in the Atto Editor toolbar, I click the icon which looks a bit like a mountain. It's the icon for uploading an image. And then when I click on it, I'm brought to a box where I can click the button to browse the repositories. This takes us to Moodle's file picker, which we look at in a separate video. I simply want to upload my chosen image from my computer, so I choose Upload a file and click the button to choose my file and select my image. It can be saved with a different name if you want, change the author if you want, change the license if it's not appropriate, and then click the button to upload this file. We either need to add a description or tick the box if we don't, and then when we save the image, it's displayed. So here are three ways of adding images to your course page. Two by drag and drop, and one by using the icon in the text editor.